What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Carmen Man Boogie surprised her with a $100,000 birthday gift. Corey upset and Danny exposing it all. Let's get it. He claiming to be Big Boogie's ex-girlfriend going on to the Tasha K show and exposing him. Well, Big Boogie did respond to these allegations. He states, for one, this is not an ex. For two, on my daddy, she's capping. For three, this girl ain't seen me since 2021, 2022. For four, why would you do an interview and lie on a person that don't pay you no mind in life? texting my phone off fake numbers begging to be my woman don't nobody want you ain't you the same female that try to use other females to come around to get in my shows y'all i think that this girl has shown him some type of disloyalty and he just clearly don't know what to do with her or oh, oh, excuse me don't want nothing to do with her and i think that's where he at with it to the point where he was <laughs> done lie like i oh. I wouldn't have brought you around. I would have brought you around my family if I fought with you. I would have, you know what I'm saying? And he has, uh, at least from what she's shown. So it's like, <laughs> I just think he's tired of her. You're sick. That's why I changed my number. I don't want no dealings with sick minded people because how weird are you? How you an ex and you haven't met nobody in my family or nobody goofball. I hope she know my sisters fight like men trying to get clout off my name, sicko. Now yesterday was Carmen's 26th birthday, so happy birthday to Carmen. Happy now birthday, her Carmen. man Big Boogie showed up and showed out. Now Boogie owns a purple Lambo truck and it appears that he bought Carmen a matching one. No oh, way! Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Give me the biggest. The biggest. The one and the only biggest. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. You see that bow? You oh, okay. see the bow. Oh, oh, okay. You see the bow. Okay. You, you see 26. You see the key in my hand. Oh, you see the key. Oh. See the papers in my. Oh. 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 So it's in her name. Clock it. So it looks like he not only bought the car for her, but he put it in her name and That's a gave real nigga. her the papers. That's a real nigga. Now you guys leave your opinions on that down below. Now this is what Chris Sells had to say that he heard about Carmen and Boogie's relationship. Chris, please. Shit. Hey, y'all did not hear this from me on my soul, but Boogie, Booger got a whole girlfriend at the crib. Booger. And I just found out. I'm not going to tell y'all what source I found this out from. I'm not going to tell y'all. But, bro, that whole relationship, Carmen and Booger, that's a publicity stunt. They're not even in no real relationship, so I hope y'all not looking up to them. My whole thing is he been having this. I don't know if he still, I ain't going to say he got a girlfriend at the crib. Damn, why am I being messy? I ain't even, I'm going to just, I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> but he got a whole girlfriend. They say he got to allegedly have a whole girlfriend. And this, what if this whole relationship is just for publicity? Just because he on show, you know, he on tour right now. Whatever Chris going to fuck around and get hurt. He is and due to this. Hey, y'all did not hear this shit from me, twin. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Y'all niggas did not hear this from me. I'm not, bro. But what couples y'all want to see get back together, though? Out of all the couples, what couples y'all want to see get back together? And don't lie. Call me back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Follow my Twitch, Chris Sales TV. I go live being messy on that hoe. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Yes, I'm a messy boots. I don't give a fuck. But I be going live on that hoe. So Chris Hills TV is my Twitch. I'm going live today. And we gonna talk about some shit. So now Corey was upset after Danny went on to live and exposed him. Now they unfollowed each other on social media. So apparently that means that they broke up. Not only that, Danny did a little exposing. Corey went on to say, only if y'all really knew what I deal with and go through and who people really are. Now this is what Danny had to say about Corey on Now, y'all done flipped the whole internet, okay? Got together. Look at my heat and pads. Got together. And now, y'all breaking up in front of us? 
Corey, it's only been a couple weeks. Damn. <laughs> and I bet it's his fault. It's his fault. On that live. I had, I had him going crazy last night. We, we gonna get into that. We finna get into that. Y'all let me know because see, I'm the type of person. See, I don't open my mouth until somebody put up some about me or say some about me. So y'all let me know if that person say anything about me. And I promise you, I'm gonna expose some shit. A motherfucker gonna take their whole page down. Do you hear me? Damn. Oh, she gave him a hell of a, hell of a ultimatum. <laughs> she want him to say something. I ain't gonna lie. Getting, in a, getting into a relationship with Corey, you would have had to stack something up on him. I ain't gonna lie. Because he liked to get mad and, you know, get to exposing you and all your business. So I would have had to, you know, get some info on him. I know like that's petty, no but... Bag. <laughs> Eric, I got you a chocolate peanut powder for Power Plus, okay? Just <laughs> go to the nearest Smoothie King and get it. I do not want to talk about Smoothie King right now. Smoothie is crazy. <laughs> I do not want to talk about Smoothie King right now. Smoothie King is crazy. Yeah, yeah, he throwing little, little sleek shots like what he go through and who people really are. Like, let me... Oh, she definitely talking about him then. Tell y'all who this person really is. Come on now, like... Fuck you mean? I ain't did this shit in a long time. I didn't know if it was true or not. Now I know. No, I don't want to talk about Smoothie King or Peach Cobbler Factory right now. Neither one. Where I'm going? I'm actually on my way home. I just love Peach Cobbler Factory. I give them niggas way too much credit. So you. I'm thinking like, he ain't gonna fuck this up. Ain't no way. Corey ain't gonna fuck this up. Not this. First chance you got. Blew it. <laughs> I'm just waiting. So y'all just let me know. Let me know I'm exposed so much shit. I'm talking about... I'm going to expose the fucking... The shit that I know a motherfucker don't want y'all to know. Oh, shit. Them facts. Corey, leave her alone. Like I was trying to tell you with Carmen, leave her alone. Oh, she going... Oh, Corey. Don't do it. Don't do it. Leave her alone. He can't keep shit for nothing. <laughs> 60 to 90 day relationship. <laughs> I promise. I'm in my Maybach truck. And then I don't bring shit to the internet. I don't even bring shit to the internet. Like, I'm not finna write no, no, Status, no pose, no none of that shit. Uh -huh. I don't want to talk about credit either. I don't want to talk about Beach Cobbler Factory. I don't want to talk about Smoothie King, credit, taxes, nothing. I be quiet as fuck, but let me tell you something. A motherfucker really don't want me to get to talking. 444 four, four in the chat. Don't. And don't. I swear to God. See, Cora, she done watched how you did the women on the internet. You know she wasn't going to let you thug her like that. <laughs> so this going to be, this going to be a fair warning right here. Damn. It's going to be a fair warning. Y'all let me know. When she give you a warning, she ain't playing. All my people, y'all let me know, okay? be out here <laughs> fucking shit up. No, I don't want to talk about trucking. Sorry, I'm going to block you. 
because you're trying to make me be positive. I don't want to be positive right now. Y'all just, y'all just keep me informed, okay? Yup. <laughs> B, look, B said y'all keep asking business questions. Let her get it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let the T out. <laughs> B, you want me to just go ahead and just get it out? You messy as hell. Hey, y'all. I don't know. I should make y'all wait for it. I should go on a podcast or something like that. <laughs> no, I be positive every day. Damn, let me be negative today. How many people want me to be negative? So do y'all want me to be positive and talk about business or be negative and talk about the tea? Which one? Just let me Talk know. about the tea. We know you got money. We know you got business. We got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I see. Somebody said negative. Y'all funny as hell. I ain't gonna lie. I got more uh, negative and tea posts than anything. Can you have my car? Which car you want? But now, y'all, I'm a um. This this right here gonna be a warning. We this heard gonna it. Be a fair warning. You want the Tesla? Yeah, right, y'all, I, I didn't know if she was going to say something else, but um, I don't know if y'all surprised, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, Corey, Corey got to get his stuff together. Um, he just don't know anything about accountability, and I don't even know what happened, you know what I'm saying, but I know that he ain't going to take accountability for it. He never really does. Uh, but hopefully he finds that. You know what I'm saying? And can at least so now pre not lose everybody that come in his life. You know what I'm saying? The women, business opportunities, blah, blah, blah. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.